What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Dude. I come in and show another video, man. <laughs> and today I'm going to talk about the breaking news, man. The Atlanta Hawks have fired basketball head coach Lloyd Pierce, yo. Um, before I get into this video, man, um, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, um, so feel free to DM me whenever I get a chance to. I'll get back at you. Um, come on, I'll let you, boy, yo. Well, I mean, as a Miami Heat fan who beat the Hawks last night, you know, I hate to see people lose their job, you know, um... But, you know, it kind of gives you a little sense of pride when your team beats a team that makes the team fire the head coach. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, quite honestly, like I said, I don't like to see people lose their job, but I got to call a spade a spade. Look, man, coming in after this offseason with them getting Delan uh, Gallinari, um, you know, with them getting Rajon Rondo, with them having young talent, like obviously Trey Young and John Collins and, you know, and, and Kevin Herter, um, you know, um, Cam, uh, what's his, Cam, is it um, Cam Reddish? Though I don't know if, he, I don't even know if he's playing, though I didn't see him last night out there, uh, or DeAndre Hunter. They have some young pieces. They got a veteran like Rondo. I felt like the Hawks were for sure a playoff team, and it doesn't mean that they won't be. But they got off after starting off. I think there was like three and zero, four and zero, or something like that. Um, after that hot start, start they've really been basically a bad basketball team. And you got to put a lot of that on 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 Lloyd Pierce, man. Um, this is a very, very, very young, talented basketball team. Like, there's no way that this team should be that the team like the New York Knicks should be in the top four and the Atlanta Hawks not. The New York, the, the uh, Atlanta Hawks got way more talent than the New York Knicks, but the New York Knicks have a good basketball head coach at Tom Thibodeau. You see, so clearly the problem with the Atlanta Hawks is coaching, and Lloyd Pierce that that falls at his feet. Yo, I hate to put it like that, but I mean that's just what it is. Plus, I know there's some some Atlanta Hawks fans, man, um, that I know are pretty happy about this. Um, shout out to my guy Sports Live in the ATL, man. I know he called for this after the after the uh, my Heat beat his Hawks last night, so I know he got his wish today, man. But um, yeah, that this this Hawks team should be better than that. This Hawks team has too much young talent to be out of the playoffs right now. They should definitely be a you know at least a playoff team at at worst. Now, granted, they still got time. It's a log jam in this Eastern Conference. They still have time to get it together. But clearly, the team wasn't going to do it in the direction of Lord Pierce. So, I feel like the Atlanta Hawks, you know, made the right decision in cutting ties with them right now, yo. So, well, my Heat tomorrow night gonna be taking on the interim. I ain't see who the interim coach is yet, but my Heat gonna take on the team with the interim coach and. Which makes this game a lot more dangerous now, which I don't know if Jimmy Butler going to be available tomorrow or not. But whenever you play in a team that just made a coaching change, a lot of times that team come out with a lot new energy, fired up and a lot, a lot, um, a lot more energy. Got tongue twisted there. So, you know, it should be an interesting game tomorrow. But um, Hawks had to let them go, man, because I just feel like that team is too young and too talented to be where they are right now in the standings, yo. Um, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Miami Heat and NBA content throughout the year. Also, it is coming uh, also tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central, 4 Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, yo. Y'all have a blessed one. Let's go here.